Those of us in Rochester having just dealt with meteorologist Liam Healy, our own issues with wind and power outages here, it seems possible we're about to do this again. Yeah, it is something that we're really going to have to start watching. The trees, still something that are an issue. We had a plenty that came down. This was actually just go. earlier today that we saw this one come down and getting cleaned up. Now, another wind event on the way. We may have high wind warnings that are in place for much of the region. And as we expect, as Eric has mentioned a couple of times here, winds make it back to 40, 50, maybe even near 60 with this next system. I spoke with Andrew Sheridan, a certified arborist and the owner of Flower City Tree here in Rochester, about some of the best practices for inspecting your trees before and after events like this. He says the best way is to start from the bottom and work your way up. We like to start at the bottom and do a 360 view, walk around your tree, check to see if any roots have been broken, if there's any lean that you haven't noticed before or any actual you know, soil disturbance. Step two is kind of we move up to the, the stem of the tree. Same thing, 360 walk around, you're looking for any cracks, any structural changes, any missing bark, any signs of animal activity because animal activity typically means decay in some part of the wood. Step three is we move up to the canopy. Again, a 360 walk around. We're looking for anything, especially after a wind event, hanging, broken, large limbs would be a sign of, that we have an issue. Now, Sheridan also added that with the extra wet ground that we have and the changing wind directions with this upcoming event, we need to remain vigilant of the trees all around our homes. Yeah, and it's just like earlier this week on Tuesday. We start this event out with that somewhat unusual wind direction starting out of the southeast, and then most trees in our region really aren't used to that. That combined with any issues developed earlier in the week, plus that wet ground could make some of those trees a bit more vulnerable, Natalie.